I'm here. What's going on, Broken Army, Broken Prophet here, and welcome back to the vlog. Here is hoping that your Thursday is absolutely awesome. I paused for a second there, because one, it's been a while since we've been outside, and two, it's windy, and three, I said Thursday. Thursday is gonna be when the channel members see this. Everybody else, I love y'all too. Y'all see it Fridays, but that's their perk for being a member of the channel. But anyway, I thought I'd come out here and get some sun, um, because I always tell you guys, stop waiting for the Amazon truck to come around to do your hoodoo to get outside and touch some grass. So, you know, for a while it was do as I say, not as I do, because you know my current nephew, niece situation in the house. But I'm like, I gotta get back outside. I gotta shed some pounds. Let's get out here, get some melanin. You know, my whole tempers, y'all always talking about melanin. They get my melanin popping and um, come out here and talk to you guys. So, speaking of like, you know, weight loss and stuff like that, yes, there are workings for weight. And someone actually told me that you guys did a working that I gave out and it worked amazing. And I'm so happy for you. But what about the times when, you know, you gotta get something popping real fast because y'all always want some fast spell work, right? Well, you can't just make weight fall off of you, but you can do a glamour. Now, I know what y'all thinking. Y'all think glamorous and y'all start thinking about that movie, The Craft, where, you know, she changed her hair to blue or whatever she did. But in reality, a glamour is something totally different. But I'm going to show you how we do it in hoodoo. And if you don't know what a glamour is, it is temporarily changing your appearance or perception of your appearance. And I will explain that later. In the meantime, I have to go around here, finish burning some trash. Then I'm going to phone up my channel members and I'm going to film this live in front of you guys. Let's go ahead and get to it. What's up guys? So before we go in and contact the members, see at the other part of this video ready, I realized I forgot to tell you what all we need for this working. And you're only gonna need one white candle, one piece of parchment or brown paper bag <laughs> to write something on. Um, and there's an alternate to that if you have it, and a small mirror. And I decided to get these items here in the shop. So I to give you guys a very quick tour. So this is, you know, right when you come in, of course there's the, there's the door right there, but this is gonna be the case. I'm bringing my haunted dolls and a few other um, items over here. Then here was gonna be a makeshift money altar. You see, I've got this huge, look, look how big this Rose of Jericho is. And I've got some for sale here. I've got some jewelry right there. So, you know, we're, 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 we're kind of getting things together, kind of getting things together but let me show you some other stuff when you walk in I'm, I'm still putting stuff up there's still got a lot of decorating that has to it has to be done but check this out so you see we've got oils up already now I'll admit I'm just being lazy right here we got a bunch of like mojo bags and blessed bags in here you just gotta kind of sift through get what you want the bag kits here's the oh yeah I need, I need one of these got plenty of those Got plenty of incense here of the powder kind. Now that's a that's a new one, attraction incense. Then oh yeah, that's a new one, compelling. That's a new incense as well. Black arts, hot foot. Figured y'all would like that. Then over here we've got some washes, floor wash, bath washes, and of course y'all's favorite. We've got Florida water. We got some money. We got some fast luck, destroy everything, you know, the colognes. And down here, we got the high John roots. We got the coyote foots, buckeye nuts, railroad spikes. We've got some horseshoes. I had to think about what those were. <laughs> and then we got some candles over here. The, the sugar mama, sugar daddy kits are back in stock, y'all. We got those over here. Thank you. 
So I'm getting, whoa, whoa. Hold on, let me fix this. So getting stuff together, like I said, we're renovating the house, turning it into a store. So y'all gonna be in a house that was a store. No, a strike that reverse. Y'all gonna be in a store that was a house. But anyway, anyway, look, better a little bit of something, a whole lot of nothing. We are open now and got the candle. Let's get over to my office and get this video started. All right, guys, so as promised, we are back inside my office. Um, as a lot of people have come in, I've got a new chair, so I'm trying not to swivel. I'm swiveling way too much. But this video was recorded live in front of channel members. So if y'all see me kind of looking down like this, it's because I'm looking at the chat. Channel members, as a perk for being a channel member, thank you guys so much. You guys get to watch the video, some videos being filmed live. And of course, you get day first, day one access to them. A full day for everybody else. But, y'all, I'm going to try to get through this video because, as always, whenever it's a live recording, they try to mess me up in the chat. So, if y'all see me in the comment section looking down so much, y'all y'all remind me, probably don't look at your chat. Look at us. Uh, we want you right here. Right here. So, as y'all saw in the intro, this video is going to be on hoodoo glamoring. Okay? Glamoring isn't even a word in hoodoo. But it's a word that you guys recognize. I was just talking to the channel members about that, about how the YouTube algorithm works. We program the algorithm according to what we search for, right? So we, we what we search for it. So as a as a creator, the, a content creator, we've got to make sure that we put in the title. Try to guess what words you're searching for. It's it's it's, it's a headache. It is. But as someone who is a traditional hoodoo practitioner, been doing this for over thirty years. I hate that aspect simply because I have to put glamour in the title, but we never use that word. But I'm just trying to get the video to as many as you as possible so that you guys get legitimate, authentic, traditional hoodoo and like this marketeered, hey, hoodoo loves type of stuff. And that's all. I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to do that again. But y'all know what I'm talking about. So without further, further ado, traditionally, we never said glamouring. And glamouring. Y'all have watched that movie, The Craft, right? Where, where, where she did the little thing and her hair changed from black to blonde or whatever, or she changed her eye color. And then, then, then the weird looking, but kind of a little bit hot, weird looking uh, dark haired chick, Nancy, changed her face into the other girl's face. Glamour is a way to appear different than how you truly do. Now, the way it works in hoodoo and let me tell you in most spiritualities you're not going to change your actual physical appearance what you are altering that's why y'all saw me put reality altering in the title what you're altering is a person's perception of you and i'm trying not to spin you're altering someone's perception of you like um i think i mentioned in the last live stream i was watching the connors and this chick who used to be on the show called Chain on uh, shameless was is on there now now in shameless she was a redhead on the connors she is not but my brain just kept seeing her as a redhead and the issue with that was someone mentioned i remember when she had red hair and i was like when she and i looked and i was like oh shoot she don't have red hair anymore i hadn't even noticed it my brain had just gotten used to seeing her as a redhead and i always saw her as a redhead we have this happen to us all the time we don't understand how much our memory of a person or how much our desire for a person to be shifts how we view them i think how many times have you broken up with somebody and then the minute you stop caring about them you look at them and be like man this mug is ugly you didn't see it the whole time the whole time y'all was in love you did not see how ugly this person was but now once the feelings Fade away. I should have called this the hoodoo beer goggles spell because y'all don't know what beer goggles are. You you know, you drink a little too much at the club. You know, you go home with somebody and as soon as you sober up, you're like, ooh. Uh. Yeah, call me Gasp Casper because I'm about to ghost this one. You know, don't do that. Just tell somebody you ain't interested. But, <clears throat> but anyway... Hmm. that's ma mainly what this working does. It alters the perception that someone has of you. I've done it several times over this video for the longest. No one could nail my age down because what I did was, well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. 
and, the, and excuse i know this is gross but my nose is itching i'm in south georgia where the new shop is now open so y'all can come on down on the weekends by appointment only and come get your shop on but po- this, this we've already warmed up and the pollen is everywhere and i'm like so i apologize i promise there's like nothing on my hand it's just itching and also in exactly six days is this upcoming is the next upcoming webinar it's on love sex relationships sugar mama sugar daddy magic all right so make sure to go to www.trueconjure.com and buy your seat so back to the working for this working all you are going to need is a white stick candle now guys i know y'all like what if i don't have this then i'll tell you work with what you have but for this one you're going to need a stick candle okay you're going to need a stick candle you're also going to need now i told you guys that some parchment paper but i could not find my parchment paper or brown paper bag i'm gonna use it all so i just just a sheet of paper preferably brown paper bag and a small mirror now to start this working out i want you to get into your into your brain meets what exactly it is you want the other person to see you as okay now let's keep it a book you know if <laughs> this ain't shallow how okay you're not gonna <laughs> i'll just leave it at that this ain't shallow how but it will influence them to perceive you a certain way okay they may see you as a little bit taller than what you were a little bit smaller okay a little slimmer you know a little bit thicker whatever but you they they're not going to look at you and see beyonce and and you not okay i'm just put it that way but it will influence okay and you would be surprised at how powerful that influence can be simply because um for myself because what you're going to do is you're going to write all the characteristics on the paper and you can write taller you can write wealthier nothing is better than if you need to go and give like say give a talk on investing in that in that startup business you have and you cover yourself you overlay yourself with a glamour of business savvy you can just write that down business savvy so when you go to make that 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 pitch that when you go to pitch that business They think they're talking to somebody who's already succeeded in business. They don't know you just clocked out from doggone dipping the fries out. They don't know that. But in their mind, they'll see someone with successful business. You know, you may go, hey, they they may they may see you as suave, smooth, and debonair, even though you are as shy as it can be. And the beauty of it is, you go out on a date, you're gonna be a normal shy self, but they're gonna be like, oh my God, you're so funny. Oh, you are just absolutely. Oh my goodness gracious, I, y'all, y'all see where I'm going with this. Okay, so all those characteristics, and really think hard. Write them on a slip of paper and try to embody what, what it would feel like to actually be that person. And the thing is, you've already done it. Let's keep it a thousand. You've already done it. Everyone has said, you know, I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a little slimmer. I wish I had more money. I wish I was able to, to talk. You know, you all those things that have played out in your mind, in your imagination, put them on the paper. Now, you want to do this for a specific occasion. It's not just all, all, you know, if you are a little bit lonely, you want to look a little more handsome, a little bit more beautiful, write that down, then go out to the grocery store. And watch don't people strike up a little conversation with you. You know, a little bit more business savvy before you go into that business meeting. You know, now I know y'all will be tempted to write down, I want to be just like the broken prophet. No, no, no. Listen, do your own thing. I mean, I'm flattered, but do your own thing. Y'all gonna be, oh, oh, the, the, I wish I had a beard like, you know, no, do your own thing. So you're going to write it on a slip of paper and you are going to burn it down to ash. Now, I've already got some ash here. It's like one of those cookie sh- cooking shows where they, they pull the... um pull the 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 cake already out of the oven already baked and stuff because look i'm not i'm not setting off my smoke detectors in here so (laughs) y'all just got to go with me you're going to take out your bethlehem or some sharp implement you are going to scratch your initials onto the candle
And then you're going to write a symbol of what it is you are trying to accomplish. It could be a heart. It could be a dollar sign. Just whatever is, is significant to you. Now, remember, I said you're going to burn this to ash. So you're going to take the ash. Smear it on the candle. The can the camera isn't picking up how much I got on there, but you're gonna smear it around the camera. The the candle. You are going to recite from Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water, and God said, Let there be light. And then you're gonna light this candle. And then you're going to hold the mirror like this. You are going to look through. Let's see. Are you going to look through the candle flame into your own reflection? <clears throat> when you can see yourself. Y'all see this? Yeah. When you can see yourself, you're going to recite Isaiah 55, 11. So shall my word be to go forth out of my mouth. It shall accomplish all things that went into which I have sinned and it shall not return unto me void. And then you will say, I am, and then recite all the things that you put onto the paper, okay? And then lastly, you are going to visualize those changes being made to this reflection. I am you, you are me. Say that three times. I am you, you are me. I am you, you are me. Set that candle on top of that mirror and let it burn down. Now, here's the part that's going to take... Do this at your own risk. You're going to have to let it burn down while you're off doing whatever it is you need to do. Okay. <clears throat> while you're engaged in that activity, it has to be burning. So what I would recommend for you guys to do is to, for fire safety reasons and fire safety reasons only, because if you got to go out on that date and go out on, I mean, I burn candles for the longer that you know, I'm just like, eh, but I'm not going to do as I say, not as I do. Take the mirror, put put a bucket, a fire safe bucket, obviously not a Citro guard. A bucket of water. And then put the candle in there. OK, some somewhere it can stand up. You don't want it leaning because that's a hazard. You don't want it leaning. You want to you know put it in something where it can stand up. You know. Mine obviously doesn't want to do it right now. Well, balance the saying, yeah. So it can stand up. So when it burns down, it burns down into like a bowl or something like that. You can even, um, what I like to do is I like to take a lighter and melt the wax on the bottom of the candle, then stick it to the bottom of the bowl and then put a little, maybe an inch of water in the bowl. So when it burns down, it'll tss, the water puts it out. Or if it falls down, the water will put it out. Okay. Now you got to hush. I'm mean, Lord hush. <laughs> I was thinking of DD in the chat. Hush. You have to hurry <clears throat> or you're going to have to get, see these candles burn for about six hours. Um, if, you, if you look at household candles or if you go to www.trueconjure.com, um, <laughs> we sell those and they burn for about six hours. So that should be plenty of time to do whatever it is you need to do. Now here's the beauty of it um, because the next, webinar is going to be on love magic and temporary love magic the thing is if you set that memory that perception in somebody well that's how it's always going to be that's how it's always going to be have you noticed like some people you can't change their mind about nothing you may have been grumpy one day and now forever you the mean one forever you the mean one you know or <laughs> i ain't gonna say that but Y'all, y'all get what I'm saying. So most of the time per person, you only have to do this working once. Now, you don't want to do something egregious to break the glamour. OK, you don't like you, know, you have them thinking you just the best thing since sliced bread, wonderful and kind. And then you go kick a puppy and they're like, <gasps> and then it's broken. Yeah. You know, um, but I think you guys, it, this is like a upper 
I say middle intermediate, like uh, like it's not lower intermediate, it's not upper bordering on advanced. It's like the intermediate level work. And meaning, if you are really good at remember this step here, if you are really good at envisioning by looking at that at that uh, reflection, right? <clears throat> Picturing, getting in alignment then you'll have success with this working. Go out there, play around with it. You know, what I like to do is get you some friends or, you know, who won't think you're crazy and do this working, but say, have on a red shirt. And then do this work and say, I have on a blue shirt, blue shirt. Then go hang out with them. Then call them up later on that day and go, man, man what, what color was that shirt on I had? You'd be surprised how many people will say you had on a blue shirt. Now. It's also a success if they can't remember. That means you kind of got through a little bit. You just need to practice a little bit more to punch on through. Okay. Or you'd be really good. They're like, you, you, you was looking too good for me to notice what color that's. Well, it depends on who I try to practice that with. Cause I don't, I don't want, I don't want my buddies talking about, hey, I don't know. Probably you was looking real fine. Or, uh, not that there's anything wrong with that. That's your thing. I just, you know, me. So. <laughs> Anyway, hopefully you guys are not just writing this down. You'll actually practice it to get good at it. Um, and comment down below. I want to I want to hear about all of your successes. OK, so with that being said, come to the webinar, come down to the shop. Um, you can still shop online if that's your thing. But as always, listen, be kind to somebody. And I promise you, I will see you in the next one. Profit is out.